I understand how picky homeless people are. Yep. And it's fucking Insane. crazy you would never to imagine. me. I, isn't it cr- like you would think, Easy. right? You think you're grateful for everything. You're Boy, not. they more picky than than a bad bitch. <laughs> ha! Let's take a sip. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. What's popping, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Another great episode, another great guest. Shit just going to keep on getting crazier. Shit going to keep on getting crazier. Fuck you thought. Glow Jays is in the building. Big Glow, you dig what I'm saying? What's popping, big dog? What's up, bro? Appreciate you having me. Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. I was just telling y'all, I, I, wanna, I wanted to stay there for a little That's bit. That's actually the wildest shit I've ever heard. Can I cuss on here? I mean, you already did it, so fuck it. Right. That's the, like, I ain't gonna lie, that's the wildest shit I've ever heard somebody say to tell me, you live in Atlanta, right? Uh-huh. You live in Atlanta, and you told me you want to go stay in Little Rock for a while. That's that's silly. But go ahead, why? Elaborate. I'll tell you. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a city boy for sure. Baltimore, from the hood, trenches, all that. I go to host this event in Little Rock, Arkansas. So actually where I got my dog. Um, so I go to host this event, and mm. some, I'm a cue or whatever. So some of the bros stay there, and they live in like... They actually live in the trenches, but it ain't the trenches that I'm used to. It's like the country. Okay? Yeah. That's, that's what you say, right? Dumb, big, dumb guns. Big, uh, what the, what the four wheelers called? Not a four wheeler, but it's like a, a like a, uh, what is it? Uh, the, the, the shit you the drive. Track, a tractor game? I don't know. It's like a booker, bunker, or some shit like they call it. I don't know what the fuck they call it. Yeah, that is. Big four wheelers. Like, it's, it's big country shit. I don't know. I'm a, so I'm a man. I'm a nigga nigga for real. You feel me? So for like, sure. a man's man, whatever people call it. So like when I went there, niggas hunt. Yeah, like everybody know how to hunt. Yeah, everybody just on some mad shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. For so sure. like I'm like, man, I would love to stay here just to get accustomed to this because you know we're coming from the city. Niggas see rats. They don't fuck with rats. Like y'all niggas is really hunting. We so really I, like that. Yeah. So I was just like, man, I would love to stay down there. To be honest, that's why I want. Just to on some country shit. Yeah, yeah. Just I feel like every man need to go now, through some shit like now that. Now that's a fact though. I'm gonna I'm give him that. I'm gonna tell you why I give you that because I feel like every man do need to have that. Like me, I'm a type of nigga. If I see a snake back there, I'm probably gonna pick that motherfucker up. That's just me. Yeah, like, that's you know, how. That, that's my persona. I know like that's what I'm used to. And like if I see a roach or something, a lot of, you know a lot of people gonna run from that. Me, I'm like, man, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no cap. And, but. I feel like, yeah, that I can see that. That makes sense. When I was uh young, I, uh, shit, I got a free, I got a free food from, I don't know what the fuck, the Chuck E. Cheese, some shit like that. It was a rat, a, a mouse or some shit like yeah. that. And they were scared and I just picked it up with like the Burma, some shit. I killed it with the Burma, picked it up, threw it in the trash. Oh, you me. already got half of it in you. Yeah, that's Where why you gotta I, go? I, I'm trying. I, I, but that's a different beast being in it though. But why you want to be in it? Because I want to test myself, test the waters. Like, you really can do get that down? out here. I ain't shit out here. Facts. <laughs> ain't shit out here. Facts. They say Atlanta the South. Not really. Atlanta not the South to me. Cause ain't it's, nobody it, from we're at the top of Georgia. But not even that. Ain't nobody from Atlanta down this motherfucker. That's a fact. Ain't nobody from Atlanta. It'd be rare if somebody say they're really from Atlanta. Facts. So that's like, true. Damn, that's true. Ain't no motherfucking uh, Southern hospitality. Barely. Nah, 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 if they're from the South for real. Those from places like where I'm from, you know, Louisiana, motherfucker like that, then yeah. But ain't no south. I don't. I don't consider this the south for real. I think mm. this like this east coast to me. No, for sure. What made you um say fuck it, just jump up and come down here? Uh, honestly, I, I ain't gonna lie. I've been in a lot of interviews and shit, but I, I probably don't ever answer this question truthfully. Uh, low key on the run, a little bit, kinda had had I had some hot shit going. But I already knew I, I was gonna move to Atlanta anyway. But that really pushed me to go do it. I was like, I ain't gonna lie. That's it's interesting. Time to, it's time to slide. What the fuck happened? Like, what you do? We're not doing that. What? Nigga, this shit is done, I'm assuming. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? We're not done. Check this out. So, uh, listen. All right, boom. What was going on? You know gonna, what the fuck was going on. He said, well, like, if you was on the run, nigga, you know what the fuck was going on. Like, come cut this shit out, listen, man. Oh, hey, look, it ain't about cutting it out, but the thing is, we ain't, listen. <laughs> no, sir. What? What? You hey. can't self-incriminate yourself. It's done. 
I mean, I'm assuming it's done, right? Yeah, to a, to an extent, but I don't, you know, I, that's that's certain. I just like mm, we gonna keep that one where it's at. Oh, I got a lot of stuff I can tell you, just not that one. I said that. I don't even be honest enough to say that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't gonna keep asking you. You know, shit. Fuck it. Off camera, I got you. So you was on. A, you was low key on a run. You like, man, I wanted to come out here anyway. So fuck it. Why not? Right. Why Atlanta though? Because you could have went any other place. I was visiting Atlanta already. I I was coming to Atlanta like every other weekend to be honest. And I was like, damn, the vibe. I like the vibe. Like nighttime, city life shit, just riding on the freeway, it just seems so calm. I feel like, you know, it feel like home type time. So I was like, shit. I've been to Houston. I spent time in New York. New York was New York is still on the bucket list. I'm still gonna move to New York at some point. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, Atlanta, like, it's cool. And it wasn't even a sense of like just knowing this is like a a, a a black Hollywood. I ain't I don't really give a damn about the race thing. Mm. But it was just in a sense of like, I love Atlanta. I just love the vibe. It ain't even the people. It ain't had nothing to do with none of you people here. I just like the city. You know, like, none of you I, people here. None of, it ain't had nothing to do with none of you people. <laughs> he categorized here. me and this motherfucker. Whoever. It had nothing to do with nobody. I was like, shit, I just like Atlanta. Right. And shit, I would see, you know, Atlanta the first place to introduce me to high rises and stuff like that. So okay. I was like, I want something like that. And I want the view. Like I really want that that vibe. You know what I'm saying? And when I first moved here, I ain't had that. But then, you know, I worked my way up. Now we got it. No cap. You see what I'm saying? No cap. Come on, now. You been out here for like, what, seven years? No, three. Three years. I moved here in 2019. Three years. I was years. 19. I moved here with no family, no nothing. None of my family live here. Where was you staying when you first moved down here? Uh, I was staying in Buckhead, though. I had an apartment in Buckhead. It was like 12, 1300. Surprisingly. Yeah, I'm say, that's crazy. It was great, though. That's cheap. Super, super cheap. That that's, was a steal. That's super really good. good. That's really good. That actually, it's a great challenge. Damn, I wanna... tripled that. Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We here. <laughs> Man, we here. I was like, damn, hold on. <clears throat> no, for real. But so that's crazy because I wanted to talk to you about this. Um, We're going to be off and on, funny shit, uh, serious oh, shit, right? Of course. Part of your story that I thought was super interesting was, I was working at Mercedes. Mm -hmm. You get in a bag because we all know like you work at the right car dealership. You're going to yeah, get, get a bag. Yeah. Working at Mercedes, you're like, yo, I want to. Pursue this entrepreneurship 100%. Yeah. The interesting part to me was you had immediate success. I was going to say lucky, but we ain't going to do that. You right. got blessed. blessed. You had immediate success. Mm -hmm. So it made it easier for you mm -hmm. to continue to do your entrepreneurship. Transition. Keep it 100 with me. Mm -hmm. If that shit would have took a year, mm -hmm. would you still be an entrepreneur or would you yeah. be working? I, I, when I quit, I said, I'm going to take... I went viral one time and I quit. Mm -hmm. I went viral once and quit. And when I say viral, it only had a million views. Well, I, I'm sorry to say that. A million views is a lot. But Grant, now, in the seat I sit in now, I'm like, a million is like, all right. But, you know, like, my first video got a million. I said, damn, I did it once. I can do it again. Mm -hmm. And I knew. I was like, shit. It, it, that let me know it was possible. I always say this. It's like, faith just makes shit possible. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? It just makes it like it's possible. You can do it. I had faith. It was like, I don't know what's going, I don't know what's gonna come from this. I don't know if it's gonna work or if it's not. But I do know if I don't take this risk, I'm gonna sit at this job till I retire. I know that. Mm. And it's like, yeah, that's cool to be 19, making six figures. That's cool and all. But I always told him, that's really not for me. That ain't my that ain't what I was put on earth to do. That's not my you know, that wasn't for me. You see what I'm saying? But I was like, man, let me just step out on faith. Let me just jump out here and see what happened. And then when you do that, when you know that's all you got to live off of, like me, it was like, shit, all I got is this. I, I, I changed the route. This is my only plan. If this shit don't work, guess what? I'm going to make it work. That's mm -hmm. all I had. That's why I went so hard. That's why I made sure I was posting every day. And thing is, I was already, I was a videographer before and photographer too. So I knew, I know what people want to see. I know how they want to see it. I know about editing. It's like, it all, it's little details about my content. Tedious as shit. It's tedious. All my, if you watch my content, you'd be like, damn, that's dope. Then you go to know, damn, that's dope. And you're like, damn, damn, damn. I just go straight bangers because I know the game. I know what people want to see. I put myself in a in a, a viewer standpoint. Because me, I watch my, one of my videos and I'm like, I wouldn't watch this shit and I throw it away. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But even while I'm filming, I'm like, I, I call it every single time. They, my homies will tell you, if I got a video that's going to go viral, they might not even think it. But I'd be like, that's going to go viral. Like, yeah, that's it. They won't even think it for real. I'm like, yeah, that's going to go. And, it, and guess what? It go every it time. It go every time. Every it, time. It hit every time. Come on now. <clears throat> that's crazy because, I, again, I was listening and it was like, bro, you you... You went viral within a month after. I think you said you went from like forty to like or to like sixty or yeah, some shit like forty to two hundred. Yeah, in a month, yeah, in a month. Yeah, that don't happen all the time. Right, and that's what I'm starting to realize now. Cause like I only been there. In we this, go. There we go. What's today? August eight eight months now. I've been doing this eight months, and I got over three million followers on all my platforms. And it's mm. like 
that don't just happen. And I be looking at people that was big way before when I had no followers, and I'm, I'm looking back at them like, damn, I didn't pass you. And it's like, I did that shit in eight months. Why? Because I knew, I know content. I just know when it comes to content. I think like, think about, I don't know if y'all ever watched like Jake Paul or Mr. Beast or people like that. Every time you watch their videos, the content is crazy. That's why they're so big. It's like, they just know content. And that's like, that's why I tell people, it's like, I, I know this, I know it really well. I know what people want to see. Damn, you just unpacked so much in so little bit of time. So let's slow down. Let's yeah, relax. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's rewind back because you touched on Mr. Beast, you talked on J Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. That right there is a conversation in itself. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're a black creative studying these guys. Yeah. A lot of guys, not Jake Paul, because he, he, he's, he's tapping into boxing, so right. you know, it's easier to understand who he is. But a lot of people don't understand, don't know who Mr. Beast is when they're mm -hmm. in this black creative. And be honest, I should, I'll be honest, I just learned not too long ago. Yeah. Right? The fact that you're studying these guys show that you know exactly where you're looking to go. Mm hmm. What started, what made you start looking at these guys and not your other African American creative? Not saying there's nothing wrong with that. No, nah, it's nothing wrong with it. What made you start looking at them instead? Uh, I like their content better. And then when I, I really, I'm a numbers person. I'm really big with numbers. Like I was a genius in math. So it's like my thing is, is like, I look at numbers. When I look at any black rapper, I don't care how big he is, whoever you are, then I go to the white side or any other race. They, is we might have 20, like Lil Baby's probably the biggest artist out. We know that. He got 20 million followers. Then I go cross over to the white side, Justin Timberlake, whoever, even people that's fresh in the ridiculous. game. 70, 80, 120 million. Name some rappers for real that's up hunting whatever. Even Chris Brown, I don't think he didn't hit 100 million followers yet. So it's Beyonce. Like Beyonce. The Rock. The, the Rock. <laughs> like, I don't consider The Rock black He's not, for real. Yeah, so it's like numbers like that is just like, man, I, how are they doing it? What is it? And they just tap into a different level. They study content. Like I, I feel like as black creators, we do a lot of trends we do a lot of stuff that everybody else is doing but them you know what i'm saying uh, white creators or any other race creators they just find a lane and they're like this is my lane and then they might jump out of that lane like jake but like you like you um logan and jake they're both boxing right it's like you see they transition that's like fuck that i'm on some different type of time still going crazy still running up a bag because you got to know when to move certain shit get old like if i stuck like that's why i transition a lot of my content you don't see a lot of the same stuff yeah i, I do a lot of giving back videos helping the homeless i do a lot of that too but at the same time you might see me pop out a skit you might see me go shoot my shot at the girl and guess what they all can go viral because i know it's not about people don't follow just because of that they follow me and i exactly. think like if they follow me and i put out good content they're gonna push good content regardless of what i'm doing they're gonna push Good content. People love good content. That's it. I um, rewinding back, right? Mm -hmm. One of the first things you said, you was a videographer, photographer at first. Mm -hmm. Was you doing it professionally? Yeah. I know you got a story somewhere in the vault that somebody or one of your clients was playing with you because you was a videographer. Yeah, or I hated that. I hate when people call me their photographer. Like, yeah, I'm with my photographer. Or yeah, my photographer. So I hate that. You hated that? I hated that. Why? I just hated the term. I felt like I was your do boy. Is it because you didn't want to be a videographer at the time? I like what I was doing, but I don't want you to call me a videographer. I'm like, I'm a human. I don't call me that. Okay. That's like that's like me saying, my, like, if, let's say a maid's here. I wouldn't dare say, my maid's here. I'm not going to say that. Mm. that. That was disrespectful to me. And like every time I heard that, I was like, man, I'm tired of being a nigga behind the camera. I'm going to be the nigga in front of the camera. Okay. That's, I just like, nah, man. So I was curious to know, but maybe that's why you hated it, though. Let's let's unpack that for a second. Yeah. Building a team, right? Just a uh -huh. little bit. I, I always tell my cameraman, if you want to be on a camera, I don't want to work with you, respectfully. Facts. Because one, I'd never want to hold somebody back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And two, I want I want all of us to be the Kobe Bryant, the LeBron James, the Michael Jordans For of sure. whatever we're doing. Facts. So if you don't want to be behind the camera, we can. you can never be Michael Jordan behind the camera because you don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. But if I get somebody that want to be behind the camera. You see what I'm saying? Oh, he's going to be Michael Jordan for sure. For sure. And that's, that's a big thing too, though. That's like, so why I got a video out for now. He's like, that's a specific like him like he's on payroll for doing that you know what i'm saying it's like and i like that because it's like shit he don't want to be on camera he don't and mind you he do his youtube and stuff too he do that off on like yeah do your shit i don't that's cool but the thing is like when it comes to my content he ain't trying to you know jump in it or do videos with me or nothing like that he's like yeah nah i'm, I'm just here to, I'm, I'm your videographer that's that's what you paid me to do mm. that's you know what i'm saying and that's when it comes to everybody has a role and like i said I, i'm gonna make a lot of little baby correlations because i study little baby and i know him and i've talked to him a lot and it's just like when i you know Talk to him and stuff. It's like, you got to think Sid. Sid's like, his, says his best friend. Mm. But he didn't say, I don't want to be a rapper. He think he handled the business side. He's the LeBron James on business side. Then he got, you know, uh, he got 
other friends and whatnot. So I don't know all of them, but you got other <laughs> people. All of them have their roles. They all, you know, got their specific roles, and that powers this engine. Like, yeah, Lil Baby's a face, but it's like, yeah, you got everybody around them still up three, four hundred, five hundred thousand followers, but they don't try to be him. They don't try to put themselves right there because they get it. Like, Facts. I'm in my own lane. Exactly. But at the same time, it's like, shit, he powering it. I know you're a little bit younger than my I am, mm-hmm. so like you, you probably say a lot, Lil Baby. I think of like Kanye West and Cootie. Yeah. Cootie was shit. Twenty years later, we see Cootie, a millionaire, off of just filming somebody else, mm-hmm. right? Because he loved to do that. Yep. Right. So I think that's dope. But when I ask you, give me a story. I know you got a story in your vote where yeah. niggas was like playing with you. I mean, not saying that's my videographer, right? Nah, hell yeah, I got a, I got a good story. What about when niggas th- saying like, bro? Yeah, I know yeah. somebody somewhere put a play with you, like, bro, you just a cameraman. Like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You said that a nigga that I was um, actually real cool with. He from Little Rock too. He had moved out here. Um, we don't top no more than like that. But he he an artist, so he like R and B artist and whatnot. At the time, he had like sixty. Oh, what's his name? Say it. I don't name drop for real, but it's like <laughs> he said that's um, the fact. nah, I don't name drop. But it's like he had like sixty, seventy thousand followers at the time. You know what I'm saying? He was he was he was doing more than me. You know what I'm saying? He was connected, whatever the case may be. And I would come with him and take pictures of him and stuff like that. Then we got into it. He said, "Bro, you ain't nothing but a photographer." He's like, "You don't know your purpose in life, none of that." Now, fast forward, he's still sitting at 66,000 followers on Instagram. I have 420,000. Mm. And it's like, I blew past you just like that. And I still reach out, even to this day. It's like, I, I, I show you how I'm coming for real. It's like, should I hit you? A nigga drop a song. I'm like, that's your heart. I text you, that's hard. Mm. I'm, I'm just that type. I ain't holding no grudges. That's hard. But the thing is, he responds to it. Then I, I keep feeding to it. He'll stop responding. But it's like, I already be known. Like, mm. you're sick. You hate it. Yeah, and you know, so I know you hate it, but that's that you gotta you gotta watch the, the power of the tongue's crazy, man. You gotta watch what you say to people. You really gotta watch what you say to people because they right. was concerned real quick. Just like I was just a photographer. Now I got everywhere I go, motherfuckers taking pictures of me. It's like how the roles change is just crazy. And then he's still in the same spot. You gotta watch what you say to people. Mm. So that's you know. Not to get sidetracked, right? Yeah. yeah. Great story. You might can relate. I'm not sure, right? Maybe. I met you. In my building, in uh-huh. your building, right? Yeah. yeah. Talk to me about the importance of placement. Oh man, that's great, right? Really good. Because I feel like really I'm good. doing this podcast, and I done met. She is a few of you. Yeah. In my building. Yeah, it is. In our building, it is for sure a few of us. <laughs> and and not only the price is high, but not only it being close to everything mm-hmm. is well, well is really well protected. Yep. The people you around, you get access to people. You get what I'm saying? Different Talk type to me of about access. Because I'm gonna be honest, like shit, even like us sitting right here, like it's not possible to get me on the podcast. That's why you don't see me. That's why you don't see like it's just not possible. I like not trying to be cocky or nothing like that. You, but you, I'm you just work not, for it. I'm not accessible for real. It's like shit, and that's how you want to be. I always know, stay exclusive. Everybody shouldn't be able to get their hands on you. Like me being right here. If anybody other interviewer or like whoever else got a podcast, I'm like, damn, how the fuck you get him on here? <laughs> like that's how it's gonna a be. A lot of work. A like, lot of work. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Right, and it's just like placement. That's how, like, you got in my face vibes. It's like, shit, I, I rock with you. Mm. And it's, I, I tell people all the time, I'd rather, I rather, I, I used to eat a lot of steakhouses and stuff. I would go to steakhouses during the week at lunch. Maybe not even be able to afford it for real, but I knew if I go to a steakhouse on a Tuesday at one o'clock, only people are in there are who? Mm, people that's making money. You see what I'm saying? Pe- one, I, one o'clock, one niggas o'clock getting on money. a Tuesday, you in a steakhouse. You, in, you eating you lunch? You got money. At- Facts. You got no money. Cap. So I put myself in them places. And that's why even like a lot of my dogs when I was coming up and shit, I always go to the most expensive restaurants. I'm like, damn, this nigga always going to expensive restaurants. Like, but I, I knew what I was doing. I was building connects. I was like, I want to be around that. If I want money, I know I gotta be around money. I don't mm. care who, I don't care who you is. If you want to get money, you gotta be around it. So shit, I even say that's why, like, before I was able to really fly first class or afford it or even hear about doing shit like that, I bought a first class ticket somewhere and it took up it, it was actually double the cost, and I didn't have the money for real. But I said, I wanna I I want to experience, experience first class. I did it one time. First time I flew first class, I never want to go back. I mm. never have went back since. Reason why is treat the way they treat you. Everybody like they get on there, want to know who you are. But like every person, like when I sit by somebody, I talk to them. What do you do? They always they get money. They get money for sure. money. Come on now. And it's <laughs> like I, I built a connect right then. Boom. I get the phone number. You got to think. One thing I tell people too: you can get a connection, but you got to use your connects. I'm mm. the one I pick up my phone. I don't. Damn, I got to connect for everything. Any restaurant you see me go to, I'm plugged in. I know already called before we got there. It's like I'm gonna set Rezzy's, and they don't even do Rezzy's. I'm like, how the fuck you get a t-? like? Yeah, I'm walking straight in there mm-hmm. because I got connects. And thing is, with my connects too, it's not one ending. Anytime, like I'm gonna call them, they gonna answer. They call me. Guess what? What's up? What you need? Thanks. Even if it's out of the way for me, I'm gonna do it because I already know it's gonna be that time. Vice versa switch. It's crazy, right? Because I was telling my guy, like he um he around your age, probably a little bit older than you, but yeah. 
he around y'all age and shit. Not to say that I always be making myself sound old, whatever. He don't even understand this. You had we was texting and shit, and you was like, "Yo, you got a uh, what the fuck this shit called a, uh, a ratchet." I yeah. ain't, I ain't know what the fuck this shit was. I can tell. <laughs> but I was trying to get this shit so so heavy, and I know yeah. he probably was thinking like, "Why the fuck he, bro? You don't got it. You don't got it." No, no, no I but, know, I, I know, I, but yeah. in my mind, I'm like, "Nah, I just want to be like again." Yeah. If, yeah. if I if I ask somebody to do something, they say okay. You know what I'm saying? I know how important somebody's time is. Yeah. I want to be able to reciprocate that same energy, yeah. even if it's something small as a tool to get your fucking bat get That's battery. It. You know what I'm saying? That shit is super important. Yo, you, I'm loving this conversation so far because I talk to so many successful people or people that deem they're successful, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing that's consistent with the people I talk to was about no handouts. Mm -hmm. I ain't asking a nigga for shit. Mm -hmm. But it's clear that mm -hmm. you say, like, bro, it's, it's clear that the key to success is being accessible to be these accessible. successful people yes. and reaching out. Yeah. I don't care, bro. The people that's telling you they ain't getting no handouts, they're capping. Think about it. I tell people all the time, if you don't need no help getting to where you want to be, your dream ain't big enough. Mm. At some point along your journey, you're going to need some help. At some point, you need to reach out to somebody that's done it or that's doing it and be like, yo, I need your help with this. How did you, even if it's just me asking you, how, how do you feel about this? How did you do this? Maybe you didn't give me nothing, but you gave me a word. You opened my mind to a different concept that I didn't think about. So you can have a handout at some point. It ain't, and that's not even saying, you know, a nigga gave you 50000 and to help you start your business. It's not that about a that. A nigga can give you yeah. an idea to get 50000 Yeah, You see what I'm saying? That's all it be about. <laughs> I, I pick up the phone. What you think about this idea? I got this. And it'd be like, shit. They might tell me something be like, I don't like that. And I'm like, why? And they tell me exactly why. I might still do it. Facts. But thing is, though, you told me why. And now I know, okay. I have that. I have At that, least I, I have, have that, that option in my mind. You see what I'm saying? I know the controversy that's going to come with this. Mm, mm, I know mm. what people might not like because you told me you didn't like that about it. I'm still going to do it, but I'm mindful and let me go fix that thing. Okay, right. you didn't like that part of it. All right, let me fix that part, but keep my idea. Mm. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, no cap. So that's where it's like, nah, bro, I, man, that, I, I feel like it's 7 billion people on earth. Why in the fuck am I not trying to get help from nobody to get where I want to go? <clears throat> We was, I was watching the, uh, I don't know, you, you like podcasts at all? You watch podcasts? Um, I, I, I think I, a reason I really don't is because I feel like a lot of people lie. And okay. Just, and they're not transparent. Okay. So See, I, transparency that, is that, big. My biggest thing is transparency. I tell people straight up, like, that's just what it is. Right. So I was watching a Million Dollars Worth of Game, right? And, yeah, uh, no, I watched that. Mace was saying, you know, one of the one of the keys to success is being around successful people, mm -hmm. right? Speaking of seven billion people in the world, why the mm -hmm. fuck I'm not trying to get help from somebody? He's like, if you're not being, if you're not successful, then clearly you're not around people that's successful. Exactly. Right. So I thought that was super interesting, and to hear somebody say no handouts, no handouts, no handouts, it's like, I don't, I try not to challenge people thought process. People thought process is theirs. Which I'm you should. I, so, I mean, nah, you. First of all, your thought process is yours. Not saying I don't give a fuck, but honestly, no, I don't no, give it's a fuck. still your thought process. But I challenge it. And I want to know why you think that way. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna stretch your mm, mind and see why you think. I lied. I lied. I do. I shit. Niggas probably watching this like, yeah, I challenge niggas all the time. See, Mine there you go. It. Boom. I don't, I challenge it, but it's from a, a place for entertainment and, and, and understanding so my audience can understand. Me personally, mm. you can think what you want. I'm a, I'm, I can help you to try, I can try to help you, but at the end of the day, we men, we women, we, people, we're grown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But anyway, I was saying to say, having people, having, having, having you said, it's 7 billion people in the world, why not? get help from somebody and hearing somebody the opposite of saying I don't want help from nobody mm -hmm. it's like bro I feel like your people be limited let me, in but let me ask you this too those people are black yes right what do we own what are we on what do we own what do we own black people yeah shit that's a good question what do we own that's ours shit I don't even know bro you know what? why because we don't want help mm. and we got us right here we don't want to help each other we want to tear each other down. Like, that's what we do. And they got some good shit going. We want to tear it down. That's how it is. It's like, we, we are our biggest enemy. And we and we scream all the time how other races don't like us. Shit, we don't like us. How you going to expect the white person to like you? You niggas is killing each other every day. This young niggas so talking some shit. Y'all listening? It's, it's niggas like, listening. Come on now. Come it's on now. It's niggas listening. Come on now. I'm telling you. I'm going to say it again. How, uh, excuse my language. You good. How in the fuck do you expect white people to respect us or any race to respect us? If we don't respect us, can we get some some else's drink? I'm sorry, I apologize. Something, absolutely. <laughs> You're talking but to it, it's just like I, that. That's something I just don't grasp. And we always scream like Black Lives Matter and shit. How old is Black Lives Matter? And we, nigga, we kill each other so much we don't even put it on the news no more. Mm. Nigga, you might put that shit on Instagram. You might see an RIP post, but it's not gonna be on the news for real. 
Facts. No, nah, you're right. It's just because it's so normal. It's like, man, them niggas going to kill themselves off for sure. Because every one of us in this room got a nigga that's been killed to gun violence. I guarantee it for a Fendi fact. Hey, man, you want some, some more of this? Not, I'm, <laughs> you want I'm some starting more? to talk a little too honest. <laughs> nah, you're good. <laughs> it's perfect, my guy. And a lot of people don't respect me. Or, well, nah, they respect me. A lot of people don't, you know, we ain't gonna put them like me. Because them niggas yeah. ain't paying. Exactly. <laughs> or, you know, a lot of people might not like a certain person because of honesty and just brutally keeping it honest. I think I'm, I'm an unbiased person. Every time I see a situation or I listen to a situation, I think of it from outside looking in. Mm. I'm like, okay, let me, all right, I, we can be friends and all. I don't give a fuck. I'm looking at it like, okay, well, let me see why this person feels this way about it. You say you got some controversy with such and such. All right, let me get in their shoes and see why or how they could feel that way mm. you see what i'm saying but a lot of things is, is honestly our culture don't get is we are very biased we believe whatever and we are the biggest consumers i think our culture is agreed i think we also just close-minded very close-minded and although i understand i don't agree it can, i think they can coexist and what i mean by that is i understand that we're close-minded because we had a lot of things stripped from us yeah you feel me so i get it i get it but i feel like the only way to grow is if, oh man, this might be crazy. Say it. Is if we can take that hurt and grow from it. If we can take that hurt and heal, mm -hmm. use that healing to empower us to push forward and not want to continue the cycle that was done to us. And what I, is that going to take? It takes healing and it takes a lot of... But what is it going to take for us to come to realization that's what we need? Because mm. the way it's going right now, we don't look like we're inching towards that. That's not true. Why you say that? You you, you 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 young. I feel like you tell people your age. Yeah, I'm 22. 22 years old. Yeah. Blanging out. You looking good. Right. High rise building. Right. Mi wh wherever is that Atlanta? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You successful. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, I feel like not even that before I even go on. It's so many of you now. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, it wasn't as many. Mm. That's why I think we're going in the right direction, right? You were, like you said, you were six figures at 19. Right. 20 years ago, it was probably a, a few, a select few. Where even now, we talk about black college graduates and it's the minority. Oh, it's so, like, that's the normal okay. almost now. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? That so I, I feel normal. like we are. We're going in the right direction. I think we're going in the right direction, for sure. But on the outside, looking in from any other race, they don't see that. And I'm not going against us yeah. at all, but Fuck like I said, I'm unbi I'm, I'm unbi see, that's my point. You see what I'm saying? Because we, I say fuck them niggas because it's you, a, it's you a clear who, growth. You know who get, helped me get the riches? Who? A white man. I can see that. But I'm not saying fuck him because he's white. When you say outside looking then don't see it, I'm saying fuck the niggas who don't see it. They can, oh, yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. That's but what I mean. you can't say that though because I mean it's like shit, they still got an opinion and their opinion still going to be out there. So even if you want to say fuck them niggas, they still got an opinion. And that's gonna live. Fuck them for sure. That, so, but it's like you gotta still take accountability and put them in that category. Like, well, we do got that group. They're right there too, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this conversation. I'm digging it. I can acknowledge that they're there, but don't care that they're there. Don't oh let yeah, it no, no, no. I don't, we don't acknowledge it either. For sure. And none of that hate shit. And fuck it. That come with it. Anytime you're successful, it's gonna come with it. We are almost 30 minutes in and we ain't even get the we need this is a great conversation. We need to get a chance to talk about the shit that you fucking do. Right. This is great. Right. This is That's fucking amazing. Really good, we ain't even had to get to that. <laughs> we ain't even get to you this know? shit. I do want to talk to you about whatever. So before I wanted you on my podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Um I wanted to help you. Mm -hmm. Swear to God. I'm looking at this nigga shit. And you gotta talk to me. Damn. We don't even have to rush it. We're going to get there. I'm sorry. I got this thing, but whatever. You talked about this before. Mm -hmm. it's like, you look at my video and you get, you kind of get stuck in your page. Yeah. And I feel like those were good. You want people to get stuck on your page. Mm -hmm. Whereas now I'm looking at something. And usually that happens with a comedian, right? I'm looking, yeah. I'm looking at their Instagram. They, they doing some shit on Walmart or whatever the case may be. I'm like, yeah. shit. That's funny. What else he got? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this nigga. And I'm sending yeah. all this shit to my, my niggas all in the sure. Instagram chat. Like, right. Yeah, this shit funny. This shit funny. Oh, yeah. What would you say is the key to that for you to get somebody stuck on your page? That's a really good question. Um, My biggest thing, consistently being myself. Mm. No matter who I'm talking to, no matter what I'm doing, I'm the same person on and off camera. 
So what that does is makes people automatically, they, they, they know me. They're falling in love with me mm. as, you know, an entertainer. And from that point, they're like, no matter what, he's going to be himself. It's not no video. You're going to go to another video and be like, oh, this nigga not acting like himself. He's a completely different person. No matter if I'm shooting my shot at a girl, talking to a homeless person, talking to Bam Man Kevo, I don't care. Mm. I'm the same individual all the way around the board. And a lot of people got this, a lot of, especially influencers, they have this thing where they don't act the same in person. They're not the same people. Me, I'm the same person on and off camera. And that's why, like, and I, even, like I said, all my people can sign off on it. It's like, ever since I got famous, I'm the same person, bro. Like, I don't care how many people take, come up to me and take pictures. I'm the same exact person. I feel like so many people get lost in this this Instagram mm -hmm. world that, they don't, mm -hmm. honestly, they don't even know who they are, yeah, to be honest. They don't. And it sounds crazy, but like you said, they don't act the same in person because they really, they're, they're so busy chasing this image of who they want to be. Yeah. Right? But I, I feel like... I have this brand called Honest Royalty. I feel like you become a king or you become royalty by just simply doing one thing, and that's mm -hmm. being yourself, being genuine in who you are. You know why that is? Because there's only one of you in here. There's only one of him in here. It's only one of all of us in here. Facts. If you can be you, you already you already standing out because you're being you. You're not Come trying on. to be nobody. Are else. you drinking with me or? Like, we're, like, nigga, I, we're here. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? But it's like. That's what's going to set you apart because it's only one you. Mm. I don't care who walk around. I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I did this interview, and, and this stood out to me because you said you was a cameraman, mm -hmm. and the guy you was, the artist, said, you don't even know what your purpose is. Yep. That's what he said, right? Yep. I had an interview with um, one of one of the most prominent uh, songwriters. Um, I forgot his name. Sean but we Gary? spoke. Not Sean Garrett. He's fired. That's my dog. He's fired. He's fired. We spoke Brother. about. Um, just give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna find it. I promise. No I worries. promise. I promise. I'm gonna find this shit. Here we go. Here we go. Um, Rico Love. Rico. Yeah, Rico. I want to get your opinion on this. And you know what's crazy though? Go ahead. Rico was working with him, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I mean, Rico. We work with a lot of artists. He do. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, so I want to get your opinion. We talking about Pat? Well, matter of fact. When you say purpose, mm -hmm. how do you know something is your purpose? Because it will align. No matter what you do, it's going to be like, it, it don't matter how much wrong you do or not. But if, as long as you are on your your trails and doing in your pathway, everything else is going to fall in line. For instance, let's I'm going to give you a prime example. Go ahead. Let's say, let's say you're walking in your purpose, right? Whatever mm -hmm. your passion may be or whatever you're supposed to be doing. And you can be down, to, you can fuck all your money off. You can be down to zero. But you're not worried because somehow, some way, the money pop up every time. Mm. It's like, oh, there it goes. Not worried, because that's how I knew. Like, when I first started my journey, I had times where I would hit zero. It'd be like, damn. But after doing that 20 times, probably, literally probably 20 or 50 times, it was like, how do I manage to make sure everything's still paid for? I never have had no evictions. I've never had no car repoed. I've never had no insurance get canceled. None of that. It was like, it all worked out. It was like, I always was able to handle that and now i'm at a point where you know fast forward we get to that but now it's like once i really align you know i'm walking in my purpose i don't really mind nothing i don't care how much negative that's like because i'm gonna be honest with you i was on shade room yesterday trying to throw salt on my name but it's like i'm still like we're gonna get to all of we're that we're gonna get to all that Everything. but it's like you know what i'm saying it's, it's right like, here yeah, yeah you gotta have all that because <laughs> it's like but i don't even care it's like man there's millions of people in the comments going crazy mm. on negative sides you see me i'm still sitting here you know why because i know i'm aligned in my purpose i mm. already know when you come in with genuine intentions it don't matter what the world think. Now, mm. if I was sitting here hiding in my room or sad or depressed, then it's like, all right, bro, I, 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 that don't make sense. You, mm. it's, you're not aligning with your purpose. But me, it's like, people, like, somebody called me there, like, people text me, are you okay? I FaceTime, like, what are you talking about? What? I'm lit. Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't care what none of them people saying, but it's like, because I know I'm in my purpose. And I know, even on your purpose, it comes with BS. I don't care what, but you know what? That be the devil creeping in. The devil still will creep in and try you because you're gonna get try to get knocked off your course. That that come with it. Mm. But it be like, how you gonna move from this? What you gonna do? How you, how you like you know what I'm saying? I feel like God throws you tests. He be like, all right, he in his purpose, but let me see if he let me see let how me much really you want. See. Let me see if he want it. Mm -hmm. Throw him that. Because mm. I've been going. I, I I ain't gonna lie. I'm at a point now where everything I drop does three plus million mm. easy. So God was like, let's get him on the shade room. Let's get him somewhere big on some, a negative light. Let's get him to try to knock him all the way off. Let's try to mess his image all the way up. See how he handles that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've handled it great. It's crazy, right? Yeah. That's fire. I love that. I asked Rico Love, I don't know why. I'm like, how do you differentiate 
your purpose from your passion. Mm -hmm. And this is what he said, and I was curious to get your opinion. Because you're passionate about something don't mean that that's your gift. Right. Like you could be passionate about fashion, but that don't mean you should be a designer. So there's so many ways you can exist inside the music without necessarily doing the actual art or being a manager or being an A&R. There's marketing. And sometimes you're just passionate about it, you just should be a fan. So it doesn't, just because you're passionate about something doesn't mean that that should be your career choice. It's all about, you know, what your talent is and what your gift is. You could be passionate about other things. As well. Facts. Facts. Like, I was passionate about photography, but I knew that wasn't my, what I was here for. I knew that mm. wasn't my gift. I knew that wasn't my purpose. I knew that, but I was passionate about it. You know, it's crazy because, like, um, quick story, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Swear to God, when I first started this shit, I never wanted to interview niggas. For real. I didn't give a fuck about it. I didn't either. Bro, I never gave a fuck about what the fuck niggas doing. I did never care. Bro, like, I always like, nigga, I'm the nigga that's lit, and you should be interviewing me. Swear to God. I'm I was the same real. way. Being real, right? For real, though. I get into it, so I start hosting, and hosting is lit. I told you I went to Arkansas my first time mm -hmm. by getting booked to host the event. I'm lit. I'm a great fucking host. Come from Baltimore, I'm fucking fire. Yeah. This interview shit is different because you got to bring a different twist. And it's and, it, and I say it's purposeful because you are special. Mm -hmm. And shout out to everybody I talk to because a lot of these people are special, and I'm fortunate to be even sitting at the same table as these people. And that means something for you too, for sure. But I'm gonna keep giving you your roses, right? There's so many people that look up to you, look up to you, that look at you, that want to be you, that that love you, that, and the fact that we can have this conversation that so many of your supporters, your followers, your fans would never see this out of you, right? That's purpose, yeah, for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To 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 bring out something that you've been through, that you struggled through, to show, to be transparent, yeah, to your audience, to be like, damn, that one little statement. Help me push through. Yep. It's about that to me. It's about that. It's about if it's one person out of 100,000, a million followers that's like, yo, that nigga Glow Jays did the same shit I did. Yeah. And that nigga lit. Exactly. That's purposeful. And that be the same. Like, it's very vague for people to say, like, I did this, you can do it too, which is true, but it's vague. It's like, okay, but how? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I break it down. I tell people all the time, probably this time, this shit. When I first started, it's eight months ago. You know what I'm saying? When I first started entrepreneurship, I don't, when, as an entrepreneur, you don't have that, that you know, I'm going to get paid in two weeks. Even if I mess all my money up, I get it back in two weeks. We know I'm going to get paid again. I don't have that. Mm. It's like, nigga, if you don't work, you don't get paid. And now I'm in a passive income situation, but it's still like when I first started, it was like, damn, I was fucking up my money, hitting zero, hitting zero. I'm talking about like hitting zero. Nobody knew though, because it's like, I still was the same person. Like uh, one thing about me, money don't change me. You will mm. never see me act different by no money. Like even if I'm dead broke, you ain't gonna know because I'm gonna still act the same way because I don't let money rule me. I feel like money buys temporary pleasure. Mm. So it's just be like, money don't make you as a man. It's like shit. It mm. exposes who you really it are. It exposes who you really are though, for sure. Mm. So that's why I tell people with money or without, I've been the same person. You know what I'm saying? Even when I had a job making six figures, I was blowing all that. Like, I promise you, every time I get paid, I fuck it off. But that's mm. why it was coming back, though. But it was like, uh, boom, it, every time. And that's just like, people ain't going to tell you the truth. Like, niggas ain't going to tell you the truth now. Like, it would have been times I was the nigga. Like, when I first started really getting money, it'd be a 50K. It'd blow mm. it all. Like, I've been there and done that. It's like, that's why now I'll be at a point now where it's like, I ain't got really nothing to prove to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have I could have been bought Rolls Royces and Bentley. I could have been did all that. But now, that's why I see this. Pay attention. If you look at Drake, if you look at Chris Brown, go to Instagram and stuff, you don't see them hanging a bunch of chains like this. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Like, I'm in my dumb nigga phase. But it's still, no, actually, this shit was gifted. But anyway, it's still like, you know, I, I look at them and I, I get why, like, they got hella money and they don't care about that because it's like, I'm past all that. Think about it. Think correlation. When you was younger and the newest phone come out, you would want it. Now, give a fuck. Bro, same way. Are are you reading my mind or something? Because nah, you're right. And it's okay to be in your you know, dumb nigga face. That's cool. Because you understand it. Yeah. When I first got down here, I said, bro, I got a job that I, I was making money I never seen before. Mm -hmm. And I told myself, I told my brother, because <clears throat> he put me on. Shout out to Morning After. He put me on with all this shit, to be honest. I said, yo, I'm getting everything I never had. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. But I knew where I was at. Yeah. There's a difference between niggas out there that's doing it and, not and they don't even know why. They, they just doing it because they think it's good. Yeah. For you to be able to recognize that I'm in my dumb nigga phase, mm -hmm. you already ahead of the curve. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So like, it's cool. And that's it's okay. Cool. If you want to splurge, if you know what you're doing, it's cool. Yeah. Again, again, 
almost 40 minutes in, mm-hmm. we didn't get to what the fuck you do. She, you know. Great conversation. Great combo. Glow Jays. Seen this nigga on Instagram, man, for the ones that don't know. Mm-hmm. Helping people and shit. Talking to homeless people. Giving them money. Giving them opportunities. Giving them shit. Starting their lives you over. Yep. <laughs> you feel me? Like, Everything I mean. you need. Anything. Mm-hmm. I had a uh I had some we did did back in Baltimore annual cookout for the homeless. Okay. Every year. That's I actually hard. went a uh, homeless for forty eight hours. Oh, that's hard. In Baltimore. So when I was seeing your page before I even wanted to interview you, I said I wanted to help you because it was like, This nigga is fire. Going crazy. For real. Yeah. I'm like, yo, this nigga is in Walmart, not fucking with people, but nah. paying for that yeah. whole cart. Switch it up. And he ain't a celebrity. Like, he not mm-hmm. a famous, rich celebrity. Yeah. That shit is hard. I was doing my money I saved. What made you get into that? Um, I, I'm naturally a giver, though. Like, naturally, like, even when I was a kid, I always been that type. Like, for my birthday, I get money and be like, who can I get this to? Like, mm. help give it to my mama or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been that type of person. And then, as I got older, around, like, when I first started doing it, I was really like, nigga, that's rare. People mm. ain't really like that. Because I look around, I be like... Damn, I be paying for everything, and then be like, "Who the fuck can pay for something for me?" Like, mm. nobody do that. That opened my mind to be like, "I'm gonna right, get there shit. too." You know what I'm saying? They be like, "This shit rare." You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Hold on, nigga, you different." And then I get on social media, and I'm looking. I'm like, "All right, comedian, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. A fight, a fight. Somebody got shot. Where's some good shit coming from us?" Mm. Then I was like, "All right, let me implement the shit I already do in real life because I was already paying for shit in real life." But I said, "All right, put it on video." Let's do that. And then, you know, that's probably another point, too. I'll I be, you know. Yeah, but another fine. point is, like, you know, people always ask, like, why well, record it? I mean, shit, I record fights. Yeah, I want to see that shit. So why not record some positivity and motivate somebody else to do the same thing? Because 90% of my people DM me and be like, you influenced me to do this, this, and this, and this. You know what I'm saying? They influenced me to do this. You motivated me to do this. I saw a homeless person and I gave them this. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, they did that from seeing my content. And then there's the other side. It's like, why well, record it? I'm like, man, it ain't for you. It ain't for you. But if you get it and you really tapped in, you're going to be motivated. You're going to be influenced. Next time you see a homeless person, you're going to think about my content and be like, man, damn, I do got $5 for him. You know what I'm saying? It's what did you learn that, though? Not to cut you off. What? Because you had to learn it from somewhere. Learn somebody, what? Give me? To, that it's okay to record it. No. To influence just, somebody else. I, I've always had a not giving a fuck mentality. <clears throat> for real. So even before I got into it, I knew. Like like I said, I'm always aware of the other side. Mm. I always talk to someone like, all right, well, okay. If I do this, then it come with this. I'll take that. I'm cool with that. Mm. I'm, I'm that type of person. It's like everything has a downside. So I'm cool with the downside of shit. It'd be like, I know shit can go south, but I'm cool with that. Right. I can take every. I, I always say this. I, I stand on whatever I say and I take whatever come with it. I take whatever consequence come with whatever. But at the end of the day, I said what I said and I made my mind up. And that's what I got to stand on. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's just be like, I knew it could come with it. I knew it would have a little backlash. I knew that. But it was like, I don't care. I still stand on what I say. That's dope, bro. Um, that she was able to to even figure that out by yourself. Mm. I figured it out um through my fraternity. Mm. I'll never forget. I came to college and it was always shunned upon to like record your good deeds. Mm-hmm. Never forget. Mm-hmm. And they was asking me, so what community service have you done? Mm. And I'm like, shit, I did this, 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 this. And they said, Okay, show me. Right. I'm like, the fuck? I ain't Record, I'm not recording. I'm not uh, writing down it. everything I, I did. I just do it. it. They're like, yeah. how we know we? How, how do you? How, how do? How do we know you did it? I'm like, cause I'm telling you, bro. Like, who who doing that shit? Yeah. They're like, you always want to document what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But guess what else? I mean, you're an entrepreneur, but there's so many people that have careers out there. You wouldn't get a job unless you had what? Volunteer hours. Not even that. A resume. A resume, yeah. You got to document the fuck the shit you did. You got to document the shit you did. It is what it, it, that's it just, is. what it is. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I never, it, and that's why I said it's dope that you was able to recognize that on your mm-hmm. own because I needed help. Like, mm-hmm. I I, I would have never figured that out by myself. Like, I was always like, nah, I got to do it and don't tell nobody. But now nah, you have to document it. And I think it's commendable sense. that you do that because, like you said, it's all the, what Meek Mill said back in the day, for motivational purposes only. For motivational purposes only. That's how it was for. If that's you were motivated by it, that's on you. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't never think about it like that, the way like you got a document. I ain't never thought about it like that. But this would be like, it's my life. This is what I really be doing. Because guess what? From the time that we're born to every day forward, mm-hmm. we're going towards our grave. Yeah. Right now, eulogy. Yeah. It's the day you were born, the day you die, everything yeah. in the middle is your eulogy. Every day is a countdown. So, knock on wood, when that day do come, mm-hmm. 
guess what niggas gonna have to remember you? What you did? Documentation. Go to your Instagram and see what that nigga did. So I don't give a fuck what they saying on Facts. Shade Room, all that. I don't care. You get what I'm trying to say? At I, all. I say that to say, bro, like, I love that shit is so fire, bro. Appreciate it, bro. That shit is so 100%. fire. Yeah. What is the importance to you of giving back? Why is that important? I like just showing y'all niggas how to do shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I like showing, like, I, I'm real big on, like, the youth for real. So I be like, like, I got a lot of little homies and shit like that. I send money and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers don't even know that. I send them, boom, you got this, you got this. Because I don't want you selling drugs. I don't want you doing a lot of shit that I did. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nothing wrong with it. But it's like, having a big bro, it, it really, like, I ain't gonna lie. Me even being younger, I had, like, a, a, a big bro that I would, like, look up to. And I see how he moved, like, I want to move like that. That's I dope. like that. You know what I'm saying? That's really a change of niggas. So it's like, I got a lot of little niggas that look up to me for real. And it's like, I take care of them. I send them bread. I do shit for them. Because it's like, they look at me, it's like, shit. They look at me like I'm God. Not trying to act, I'm not no, you know, doing that. Yeah, but it's it. like, that's how they look at it. So I be like, shit, I'm doing it for my little niggas. It's like, shit, I'm, I'm going to show you. That's why I always show, like, I'm, I'm holding the doors for females. I'm, I'm a gentleman. I'm going a, I'm to a pay for whatever. You know what I'm saying? Somebody ain't got it. Shit, I might not have it either, but I got it for you. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? It's like, and that's how that's how life works. People don't understand the more you give, the more you get. That life works like that. The universe it's works a revolving like that. door. All, all this shit's a revolving door. That's why the earth spins in a circle. It all comes back. That's what it is. Do the same shit. You give, it'll come back tenfold every time. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I know that. Mm. And with knowing that, I'd be like, man, especially with my my young niggas, because I like, man, I don't want y'all in situations I had doing the same shit I had to do. I want you to, you know what I'm saying? Be like, nah, I ain't got to do that. I'm good. I got that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you want to bond or some shit, easy to call me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I need that, 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 boom. All right, it's done. Just because the fact that if I tell you no, I know you're gonna go out here and do some legal shit. I know that. Then you're risking some other shit and fucking up your future. So it's like, nah, I do this shit for them. It's crazy, man. I was, um, I was talking that you even had somebody to like look up to or a big homie because yeah. that's why a lot of us go in the wrong direction because mm -hmm. we didn't have that big homie. Because shit, to be honest, in our community, it's already not, it's not, it's not enough present fathers. Facts. So if we find the wrong big homie, then we are gonna go down the wrong lane. For it's sure. The easiest thing to do. For sure. <clears throat> so I think that's dope. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my homies, man, and uh, he was saying, yo, giving back. It, it just makes me feel good. Yeah. So when I'm feeling bad, because I was telling, it's crazy. I was saying like, yo, when I'm broke, I be I be kicking myself because it's like, man, I'm trying to where the last thing I'm thinking about is giving somebody else something. Yeah. Like I'm going through it. But that's and, the time you need to be giving. That's exactly <laughs> what, as ex, that's bro, I swear to God, he said, he said, when I'm at my lowest, I'm giving shit. That's when I'm giving back. For sure. And he told me, he was like, bro, you can take $20, mm -hmm. go to McDonald's, yeah. get well, it used to be 20 burgers, but you can get 15 burgers yeah. and go give it to 15 homeless people. Mm -hmm. And you just change 15 people's lives. Easy. When he said that shit, open your mind you know up. what $15 is? Nothing. Literally. I said, you got to be kidding me. No cap, for real. And, and I, I'll be at a point now where it's like, shit, sometimes I pull it to a red light. I might not have no cash on me. And you be like, shit, I'll just give them a fist bump. They'll be like, damn, thank you. You acknowledge me. Like, mm -hmm. there's not even about the money. they be like. It's the fact you acknowledge me. People ignore me all day, like leave their windows up with no tent. I'm looking at them ignoring me. And may, if, I don't care who you are. Think about you having to be out here holding a sign. That's already humili humiliating as fuck. Mm. And then everybody ignoring you too. So I'm the nigga drop the window. Boom, what's up with you, bro? How you feeling? You good? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mental check-ins. And they will be like, that shit will really matter. It be like, it really like, you let me know that I'm still here. You let me know that I matter. You let me know that, you know what I'm saying? You give a fuck. Or there's somebody that actually cares out here. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the biggest thing, just acknowledging. Like, boom, I acknowledge your presence. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. For real, from that, you change that person's whole day. Like, yeah, they might still be hungry because they ain't <clears> no cash on them, but they, they spirit's higher. They might they might have a little more enthusiasm. They might smile a little bit. At the next red light, they might smile a little bit. That might get them in the dub or yeah. something. Instead of sitting off, you know, a lot of them might sit over there and you can tell they really down and out just sitting their head down. Because they don't have that, nobody acknowledge them. Nobody really giving them no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody giving them nothing. You dig what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm at least giving you like a some motivation or something to make you know you're human. That's that's what it be about. Because as humans, we is need a people. We need people. Perspective is a motherfucker. For sure. Think about that, right? I'm homeless. Yeah. I'm out here. I'm sad. I don't have no money. I'm hungry as fuck. So I'm like, a picture how we all be when we when we hungry. I don't know about y'all, mm -hmm. but when I get hungry, I get. Well, I get mad. <laughs> right. So a picture. I'm on the corner. I'm upset. I'm angry. Mm -hmm. I don't mean nothing. So I got a mean mug. What's good, dog? Boom. 
that he acknowledged I'm, me. Now I'm smiling, and that I'm smile good. alone gonna give me twenty dollars. Give me That's some food. It. You see what I'm saying? That's what perspective. Perspective That's is how a motherfucker. Like, I don't got no cash on me, but let me give you a little fuel though. I can do this. What's up, my guy? How you doing? Mm. Boom. What's your name? Well, you know what I'm saying? How long you been out here? Then I hit you like you usually be out here. Like where you usually be at? Boom. I might see you next next time I see you. I make sure I got something for you. Mm. Boom. But even that time, it's like I gave you that motivation. I gave you a little bit of that. Um, for the next red light, you might be out there waving at people. You know That's what I'm crazy, bro. You never know. That's crazy that you said it. Cause like I like I said, I did the homeless thing for 48 hours mm -hmm. and that it made you feel different. Dude. That shit was crazy. Open your mind up. I chose the worst. It was the summertime, right? Oh, shit. I chose the worst two days of the summer. So you probably thinking it's hot. Yeah. No. What? It was fucking pouring down, raining. Damn. Back to back. Oh, Both shit. days, I promise. I swear to God. So you got the real scenario. You really got to see how it is. Boy, I uh -huh. thought I thought I was cool. I'm going to go in the post office, like underneath the post office thing. Yeah. Lay, down, lay down. They got 24-hour security. Shit. <laughs> You can't you see what I'm saying? You can't even just lay nowhere. Can you picture that? Can you Think can you even it. imagine Think about going it. what they go through? You can't even just lay nowhere. So that's why you gotta lay on the bridges and shit like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay, it's another perspective to this though. Talking it's about perspective. It's perspective. Let's, let me ask you about this. Uh -huh. How do you differentiate who to give to and who not to give to? Because some of them yeah. are finessers. For sure. So I how do it. you know who to choose? Um, it's getting easier now, but you I, I usually can smell it. I don't know. It'd it be a gut feeling for real. Like I can smell it. it. No cap. Like when I be driving, like I tell them sometimes when I'm like, if, I'm, if I want to really help somebody, I'd be like, nah, not them. Motherfuckers don't understand why I'm saying not them. But I don't know. It's nothing that, it's nothing about them that pinpoints that they're not because they look it and in your mind they are, but some in my soul be like, uh-uh, that ain't the one. That is not the one. Like That's not them. I think that's why all my content like with Home Sweet really does go so far because I can feel it. Mm -hmm. But I have been off. I've been off, but I was off on a sense of not using my gut. I went off of somebody, like one of my little, my videographer. He he lived in Union City. He found a lady, a family out there. And he said, they like they need it. I went off his judgment mm. instead of my own. Mm. So I just pulled up and did it. But I ain't, I ain't drive. I ain't fill it out. I ain't analyze it like I always do. So the first time I took somebody else's word on helping somebody and somebody else they found, usually I find it myself. And it works every time. We always good. But it's one occasion. That I went off some what somebody else said, bad apple. Was that the last situation? Yeah, that? that's the one on Shay room and all that. That's the one that was like somebody else told me, directed me to it, and I didn't get to fill it out. I just put, I literally pulled up, got it out of the car, and did it. I ain't know him. I ain't know what she looked like. I ain't fill her out. None of that. But when I started talking to her, I was like, oh shit. Uh oh. I, I felt it, but I was like, we already here. All right, man. Like, we. we was I had it on. I had it on my list, but it was further down. We having such a great conversation. Fuck it. Let's just we here now. Let's go into it. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. That's what people here for, for real. So you had this situation where you raised what 20? 20 bands. 20 piece. Uh-huh. You're supposed to give it to this family. This family. 100 percent And you're like, mm, give them 3500 Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the direction what to go, mm -hmm. the right direction. Mm -hmm. And bait you to see if you're gonna Let's do it. Let's see what you do. They ain't do that. So shit. If you ain't gonna do that, I ain't gonna do this. That's it. You ain't gonna get the rest of this bread. That's that. That comes back. You raise this money specifically for this family. Right. You're supposed to give this money to this family no matter what. No matter what. Yep. That's how you look at it. Mm-hmm. Floor is yours. Because I, I know the story. It, I feel like they know that you said yeah, it on your they Instagram know, they know on every, YouTube. Everybody in the world knows. But it's just like, it's at a point where I, I like, yeah, I raised the 20 bands. The goal was to give that to her because I've gotten somebody else off the streets before. This is not new for me. Mm -hmm. I, I do this. It's a couple times. You know, it's a couple times. Yeah. It's, like, it's more than once. It's four, actually. Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay. I'm shout out to that. Let, let, shout, shout out to you that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to that. But it's like, okay, boom. I raised 20 bands for you. And even when I gave her the money initially, I gave her $500 the first video. I'm handing her the money. And as I'm handing it to her, I'm like, why the fuck is she? And I'm not doing it for a reaction, but I'm thinking, why the fuck is she not reacting? Mm -hmm. like, why is she like just holding her hand out like, thanks, mm -hmm. thanks? I'm like, this shit's weird. Mm -hmm. Like, that's weird to me. That's when the feeling started kicking in. As I was giving her the bread, I'm like, what? But, you know, I still was like, okay, I'm gonna be optimistic about it. And then boom, I dropped the video. Another lady, Drinker Hill, drops another video. She drops a video, duetting my video, and like she's scamming. She's not really homeless. And I'm like, okay, I can kinda, I can, I can kinda feel that, but I don't know. I don't know. 
For sure. So I'm like, I did raise the money for, but now that I hear this, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in with question marks. I'm gonna come in with caution. Okay. So I'm not gonna pull up on you and give you twenty thousand dollars straight. That's silly. That's dumb nigga business. I don't care who you are. If I raise the money for you, I didn't raise it for you. Cause think about it. If I give you twenty bands, it can hurt you more than it can help you. Easy. I can burn you down with twenty. That's a fact. Easy. You can fuck everything else. That's a fact. That's a so fact. So I said, this is what I'm gonna do. I said a reasonable number here. If I give you thirty five hundred. I said, all right, I'm going to give you 3500 here. We good? This one? No, bring it up or down. Yeah, cool. Yeah. We ain't one in your face. Wait, yeah, we good? Yeah, yeah. We good? We good? Boom. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I gave her $3,500. i am like, all right, here's $3,500. I'm going to send you job opportunities to your email. I put it on my story, which got 43,000 views. I sent her job opportunities. People DMing me saying, um, she can. I'm plugged in in Atlanta. Like I'm talking about people, the juice bar at Phipps. I'm talking about restaurants. I'm talking about all type of shit. They telling me I reached out to her. I reached out to her, waiting on a response. And I'm telling her they they hit you. Like yeah, you go check. Like I sent your email. Like go check your email. And I didn't physically text that to her, but it's like it's known. You saw me put your email there. Go check your email. You're always in it. It's like all right, okay. She didn't respond to none of that shit. Another lady said she can get her approved for housing. Guess what? She started messaging her about about it. She said she was interested in it. Then it came down to the end of it. She, the lady ended up telling me she stopped responding. I asked her about like, I think she was just asking about like, how like monthly rent, just, you know, how much she makes, how much she can do. Cause the, it, we're gonna, it's gonna be assisted. It's gonna be taken care of. She just stopped responding. So I'm like, oh, that's also weird. You don't want housing and you don't want to work. Now you throwing a major red flag to me. Mm. And people thinking on the outside looking in, they're like, it doesn't matter what she was going to do with the money. That wasn't your response. But I don't do that. I want to help people. I don't want to just give you fucking money. Like, it's, it's bigger than that. It absolutely I, does matter, it, though. It, it, uh, that's the like, point. That's the feat and the purpose of that, my purpose. That's what I'm fucking doing. That's the purpose of my purpose. Like, I care. It's like, that's why I'm like, uh-uh, I can't do it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to make it make sense. It's like, you don't want to work. You don't want to do nothing. I gave you 3500 You asked me for some more money three days later. Now you blew that shit. So I'm like, whoa. Hold on. I don't know what you're doing with this money. So it's like, yeah, in a sense, I get where people are coming from. But at the same time, I'm like, no, because I stand on what I say. Because I'm looking out for you. If I gave her that whole 20 piece, it probably could have ruined her. Mm. It would have been gone by now. People are like, so what if it would have been gone by now? That's on her. I didn't raise it for that. I raised it to help her. I wanted to see her progress like I did with Mr. Warren. I, I gave him money. Well, actually, I was paying for stuff for him. It wasn't even directly me giving him money. That's why I gave her 3500 I gave it to her and I said, all right. And I'm gonna pay for whatever else. Anything else you line up. If it's a job and the kids need daycare, I'm paying for that. Any you need clothes for work, I'm paying for that. You need a car to get to work, I'm paying for that. All that. The 35 was just to hold you over for me to see what the fuck you was gonna do. Mm-hmm. That was a test. I was trying to see how you was gonna move with it. So I told her that if she does, she jumps on TikTok and bashes me. She now, jumped on <laughs> she created crazy. a TikTok and bashes me. I'm like, damn. Well, I guess the people was right. But at the same time, it was like, all right. They told me, like, they feel like it was that. Even the first video, it was like, something off about her. I, I read comments, like, something was wrong about her. Something off. But I didn't get it. But I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm still finna do this. I really want to help her. I really want to help the kids. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm like, okay. You fucked this off. You bashed me on TikTok. Now I'm really like, you biting the hand that's feeding you. Because who else pulled up on you and gave you $35? It don't matter how the fuck I got it. I gave it to you. If I don't have nothing, I'm grateful for what I got. You see what I'm saying? If I don't have nothing, I'm grateful for what I got. And now it's like throwing major red flags. I'm like, fuck. All right, you bashing me. Now I don't Now I don't want to help you because you don't even want to work. I don't want to help you. So that's why I reach out to people like, y'all can come get y'all refunds. I'm done with it. Just mm. come get y'all refunds. Come get your refunds. Shade Room, pick it up. They, You know, I do the interview with Shade Room and shit like that. They ask me questions about it. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, there's nothing on earth she could do. You, tar- you try to tarnish my name. I'm the person who wanted to help you, and you're going to bash my name and think I'm going to pull up on you and give you 20 grand at this point? Who And think pe- people not thinking. On the outside looking in, put yourself in my shoes. You can, it ain't, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you raise 20 bands for somebody out of the kindness of your heart, give them 3,500. They shit on you. Get your name tarnished all through social media. I got to look at this shit every day. I'm the one that gave her 3500 I'm trying to help her. Motherfuckers bashing me all day, sending me death threats that I don't care about. But anyway, it's still like, they sending me all this type of shit. What make you think I'm going to pull them on you getting anything? And I don't, I don't, I, I, that's the thing with me. I, I'm the type of nigga that stand on everything. So people talking about, you go to jail for this, Sean King, fuck him. Anyway, it's like he come here, he can go to jail for this, it's legal. I don't <laughs> care. I still don't what I said. I'm, I'm like Martin Luther King. I stand on what I said. It's just that on that. That's how I felt. I meant how, I, that's how I felt. I feel like she don't deserve it. So I'd rather y'all come get it back 
or we're just gonna go to somebody else. I stand on that, and that's where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, shit, that's what it is. I take whatever come with it. Like I told you earlier, I take whatever come with this shit, whatever that may be, good or bad. Isn't it crazy how God's timing is always on time? Always. Um, Cause I know we talk about that, but I really don't care about that because I, I, I've I been seeing your work. For sure. But I say that because clearly that's popping right now. Yeah. And you a content creator, so you know the importance of relevancy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it's crazy how like I've been trying to get this interview with you and, and it's crazy how this time it works. Right? Yeah. God is crazy. But um watch this. <clears throat> see. I, I I say that to say <laughs> I'm hearing you speak, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You have have you been drinking? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I'm probably like six, seven shots deep now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I say that I say, because you like seven months in with this, with mm-hmm. the homeless, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to get you to your uh, situation. No, 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 you good, you good. I ain't speaking. I'm just, I was looking to make sure I my got DM. You. I got missing no money. Guys, I'm going to get you to. Nah, but we talking. To your work. I don't know how much I pulled up. To, I I'm going to get you to your work, dog. Ha! He knows something y'all don't. I'm going to get you to your work, dog. But, uh. Yeah. So, I say that to say. So, because I've been doing a cookout for the homeless for, it was three years, right? Uh uh-huh. I understand how picky homeless people are. Yep. And it's fucking Insane. crazy you would to never me. Imagine. I, isn't it, like, you would think, Please. right? You think you're grateful for everything. You're Boy, not. they more picky than. Than a bad bitch. <laughs> ha! Let's take a sip. <laughs> That's. No cap. I, it, like, isn't that baffling almost? Like crazy. But you know what? This this statement, I made this statement up, and I, I don't know if anybody's ever, ever said it, but this is something I tell people all the time since that situation. People are where they are because of who they are. Mm. When you think about that, and I, I now I'm at that point now. That's what brings me peace. I'm like, well, all right. Yeah, she's doing all this, but she's where she's at because of who she is. I gotta I gotta remember the root of it. I don't really care what you're going through. Somebody gonna let you stay with them. I don't care what it is. But if you get to a point where nobody lets you stay with them, you know how much think about it in yourself. You know how much it's gonna take for you to really have to be out there on the streets for real. Mm. It's like you got somebody you can call. You got a friend, you got an auntie, you got a cousin, you got a mama, daddy, you got somebody that you can go stay with. But you fucked all that up. Now you gotta sleep outside. Be for real. Now but it's even, like something just off. It's like something with you. Even beyond that though. Yeah. To go deeper into what you're saying, people are where they are because of who they are. Mm-hmm. What I've learned about homeless people is a lot of the times, in my experience, because mm-hmm. you probably have a different experience, people are where they are because they want to be there. Yes, for sure. Right? Yeah. And it's crazy. Not saying people want to go through poverty or be, but it's some people who are so stubborn that they would rather be on the street by themselves yeah. than to be with somebody else. Yeah. And that's a huge statement. And it's not for us to judge or anything, but mm. I've spoken to homeless people and people just are content with being right there. Content. And if I'm a vegan, if you try to give me meat, just because I'm homeless, I ain't taking the meat because I'm a fucking vegan. I'm a vegan. I still can be I'm a vegan. I'm standing on that. I eat some grass. It's, cra- it's I just say that because it's crazy because no just even going back to the girl, the, to, to, to the chick, even yeah. if she is homeless. Yeah. People would throw away an opportunity just to stand in whatever truth they believe. You know, get whatever you want, and that's why I say that's why I stand on respect. That, yeah, it's easy to give her the rest of the money. That's really easy. I could do that today. I get that, but it's bigger than that. That's mm. why I stand on what I say. It's like no, because if I do that now, it's like ah, this nigga just folded. Yeah, he proved everything we were saying about him. But now, like I'm, that's why I say I put on my story. I don't know if you looked or not. And I said, I, I, when Shay Room posted it, I reposted the video. When I explained it, I said, and I stand on everything I said, period, with laughing emoji. I stand on everything I said. I don't care who, who I don't care how y'all feel about it. Facts. I stand on that. And I'm signing off on that. I got all type of my mama, dad, OGs and everything saying, just give it the money, call it done. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that to me. This I don't do this shit just to give people money. I do this shit to motivate them, to change them, to really help people. If you fuck that up, that's on you. And like I said, a lot of people going to look at this and be like, it doesn't matter what she was going to do with it. But the thing is, you don't have a real giver mindset. Because me, I want to give you something to see you winning. I want to see you go up from it. I want to see you progress. If I gave her that 20 bands, motherfuckers, gonna, guess what they going to do? Be in my DM every day. What? How's she doing? How's she doing? I give y'all an update video. She out there on the street again. Then what? 
Yeah, then they going to say, well, that's not your problem, but it's bigger than that. I ain't give her the money just to make some content and go viral. I don't give a fuck about that. I really want to help her. It's like, oh, man, fuck. I don't, that video did like 13, 14 million views. I don't give a fuck. It's not about that. I wanted to help you. You fucked it up. Mm. So I stand on what I say. I'm cool with looking like the bad guy because I know my heart. I know my purpose. I know what I'm here for. You can't cancel me. My followers is going up, not down. You can't cancel me. Mm. There's nothing that's going to happen. It's like, that's just that on that. I don't care what happens because I'm honest. Mm. It's like, I'm real. It's like, shit. I feel like as a real advocate or as a real person that wants success and change, Martin Luther King, I run back to this all the time. That motherfucker stood on whatever he said. He didn't give a damn how you felt about it. Why? Because he knew his goal. He knew he really wanted to help people. He wanted to help us. So what, I don't give a damn about what nobody think, bro. I, man, I, I don't give a damn. Y'all, if I go to my DM right now, I bet it's a DM. Five DMs that say, now. They say they were sent right now bashing me. I don't give a fuck. Mm. You know why? I'm living in my purpose and I stand on what I said. The only response I got for you is I said what I said. Facts. That's it. No cap. Ain't no change in my mind. It's crazy. I, I did want to talk to you about this, right? Yeah. Um, cause I didn't care to touch on that for too long, but cause I I see it in you, and mm. honestly, I'm not chasing the car. We nah, we'll whatever we do, we gonna do regardless. One hundred percent. Um, but I wanted you to explain this, cause I I didn't honestly I didn't learn this until I was a little bit older. Older. Mm-hmm. You have a nonprofit. Mm-hmm. Having a nonprofit and helping people is a business. It's a business, and you can make money from it. Yes, I'm an executive. I never understood at first. I didn't understand how I could help people make money. I I never understood when people help people and they had flashy things on and they was lit because I'm like, wait, how you helping how people? How you do this? doing that? I, yeah. Talk to me about the From business. outside looking in, that's how it looks. But with my nonprofit, I will honestly say on this podcast, because I fuck with you now, it's like my nonprofit, I'm an executive, which means I get a salary. That's what it is. People don't understand. I have to live too. How am I going to help people if I can't help my damn self? Mm. Let's be for real. So it's like with a nonprofit, okay, boom, nonprofit might bring in anywhere from my nonprofit, all right, honestly brings anywhere from all right, low end eighty to two hundred a month. I know that. And it's like boom, as an executive, I get thirty mm. a month, period. But I know that. No matter that's what that's my that's salary, just, no matter what. Okay. That's what it is. I don't matter if it makes forty thousand one month or if it makes two hundred thousand. I do work for the nonprofit. Y'all understand people that work for nonprofits have to get paid, right? I'm the executive. I get 30 a month. Okay. Period. And that's a low-end salary, to be honest with you. And then you pay your business through? or hey, No, no, no. I, I, my nonprofit, I'm an executive. I only pay myself. Okay. That's it. I just, I, I pay. Well, I mean, everybody else on payroll. My okay. videographer, whatever the case may be. But it's like, boom, that's executive salary. And guess what? When I get that executive salary, when I get it, it doesn't deposit to my personal account. It deposits to Glow J's. Oh, it deposits to Glow J's LLC. So, boom. Now it's another business account. So it's like, I just know how to move it. And I know how to, you know, you got to know how to move money. And why? Mm. I know my white mentors, they teach me. But it's like, it moves to Glow J's LLC. Then I want to pay somebody else from there too. So it's like, by the time it really touches me, I might make 20K in my number. Okay. Easy. But it's like, shit, no, I'm probably, it, even if that makes bitch make 500,000 in a month, I get 30. It don't matter. Okay. I'm going to get 30. That's it. And you get that, is that strictly from uh, sponsors, I'm assuming, mm-hmm. and like uh, donations? Sponsors, brand deals, donations. All the social media view pay all well no 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 I'm capping social media view pay does go to Glow J's LLC and that's a whole different crazier check but like that's just brand deals donations whatever the case may be which might run up shit I've had a month where I did do 480 mm. but I got 30 okay it's like shit I just I know that's how I go and the rest of it's like get that shit out. Get okay it. so for people that don't understand because again I was one of them people you mm-hmm. can get paid doing community work you have to and you're not scamming no you have to think is people don't understand you have to get paid and a lot of people on the outside looking in they don't think about the person that's orchestrating shit or running a non-profit it's called a non-profit but at the same time a non-profit has employees nobody's working for free hmm. including me nobody's working for free you know what i'm saying and it's like i'm not saying i need the biggest cut or i need all the cut but if it's making 480 I'm gonna get my 30. If it make 32, I'm gonna get my 30. Mm. Regardless, I'm gonna get my 30. That's why I work so hard to make sure it pushes six figures a month so I can have that excess to do for whatever else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you, everything excess just sits in the account. I still handle everything from the 30 a month, to be honest. Like I don't go into the, all the extra shit of touching anything else. The 30 a month, I still go out and just pass out just here. Because I was like, my bill's like five, six K a month. So it's like shit, the rest of it's mm, here. I'm passing that shit out. 
personal. Mm. I ain't even using that shit. It's like, man, that's just stack. So I really can do some shit where I really can buy a motherfucker a house or buy a motherfucker a car, like that type time. Okay. So tell me, let's talk about the image. You mm-hmm. seen the uh, the pastor from New York? Yeah, man. What? <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a pastor. His closet <laughs> is fucking crazy. He got all the drip in the world. He got everything. So not accusing him of anything, but he dripped out to be a pastor. I don't want to put you on his level, but you get back. Yeah. And you be drippy. Yeah. Bottegas on a few big dumbass chain. All that. Again, I ain't comparing you to him. Yeah. But how, how can you be a man of service and still so flashy? Talk to me. People. It's about people, people's perception. I think they, the one thing is when you're a giver or you're, you know, pastor or person on that level, they want you to be broke. They want you to be a peasant. And a lot of my colleagues say, don't post your career. Don't post this. Don't post that. Don't post that. Because it's going to make people think you're taking it. Mm-hmm. And I get it. I get that. Which I don't realize is what it comes with it. That pastor, he brings a lot of people into that church. He brings a lot of money into that church. He still gets paid. He still has to get paid. Because anybody, think about it, put yourself in my shoes. If you're bringing in 480, why not take your 30 and do whatever you want with it? I'm just getting my 30. It's like, shit, do whatever you want with it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're legitimately stealing from people, that's different. Mm-hmm. For me, it'd be like, I offer refunds. It's like, shit, y'all can come get a refund. By all means, come get that. I ain't tweaking about none of this shit. By, by the way, <laughs> out of all the people that donated, guess how many people went in and got a refund? <laughs> Out of all the people donated, out of the 20 bands. Probably not too many. How many, would you, how many would you think? I don't know the exact number. Probably 12 or something like Eight. that. Eight. Okay. Eight people went in there and got a refund. And guess how much the refunds ended up adding up to? What, eight times 20? I don't know, $200. Wait, that's not $200. Four people donated like, $5. One person donated 20 The others donated 10 mm. You see what I'm saying? So it'll just be like, the people that's talking didn't contribute a fucking thing. So I'm curious, just to get your get your yeah mm-hmm. yeah your, your opinion on the pastor mm-hmm. since we talk about it. What yeah, do you yeah. think about that dude? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. I ain't look too much into it. Okay, I okay. did. I ain't gonna lie. I did see how he got robbed and shit. Then I saw how he put on Instagram like his closet. Shit, I like it. Mm. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, cause that's how I do the same shit. Like y'all thought y'all had me. Let me show you something. Cause that's what people hate. Like people mad as fuck. Like damn, this nigga still lit. Fuck, I hate him. Good. I think it's. Different and his when, we add, when we add the Bible in it, but only because I yeah. feel like the flashy and front and part of it isn't holy. Like I, I don't know the Bible from front to back, so I can't really go into it how but I want. L- let's do this. Take it as being human though and bringing money in it. That's why I take the Bible out of it because it's like, yeah, he's a pastor, but at the same time, I don't give a damn what you do, what your occupation is. If you're a pastor, you're not doing it for free. And we can't ignore. Let's go to the human side. We can't ignore that. Money attract money. Yeah. Money attract people. Yep. So, if I am lit, it's a lot of, I don't want to say peasants, but peasant shit. Peasant like people. shit. Yeah. You feel me? So, if I come outside lit, more than likely, I'm going to attract all the people who want who want this. For sure. Damn, that's crazy. And the thing is, if that those people, because think about it, I can tell you, before this shit started happening, probably still right now, yeah, I get 100 DMs a day of people asking me for money and never getting a response. Those probably the same people that's like, fuck him, because I didn't give you no money. If I gave you some money, you'll be with it, though. If I open that DM where you asked me for $36,000 and sent it to you, you'll be on my side, too, right? Why wouldn't you? Just be for real. No, for sure. You give me 30 bands, I'll be like, yeah, go take He's a great Whatever guy. he said. He's a great he's, <laughs> Come on. Now let's put it in perspective. It's he's like, great. He's, I fucking love him. <laughs> like, of course you do. Thanks. It don't matter what I do. I can't do no wrong at that point. But if I didn't respond, then it's like. Man, fuck this nigga. He ain't that nigga a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just the perspective people put on shit. For real, though. Let me ask you this, bro. Mm-hmm. You've been really successful. Mm-hmm. We're going to wrap up soon, I promise. But I'm enjoying this conversation. Yeah, 100%. Um, how are you measuring your success right now? I don't feel successful yet. But how are you measuring your success? What do you mean? Maybe I'm drunk. I don't elaborate. I'm lit. Shit. What do you mean by how am I measuring my <laughs> success? What do you mean? Like, break it down. So, me- at one point, you wasn't at 400,000 followers. Shit, no. At one point, you wasn't in high rise. Right. Um, at one point, you wasn't as lit as you are now. Yeah. You have a goal of where you want to go. Mm-hmm. You weren't there yet. Yeah. But how are you measuring your steps to get there? How, how do you look at yourself now? Every time I get somewhere, I feel like I ain't did shit. 
Mm. Like I, I got the high rise. A lot of people are like shit. Nigga, you at the pinnacle. You got a corner high rise on the twenty first floor, looking at all of Atlanta. You lit. Me, I'm like, mm, I did that. I'm thinking bigger. I'm like, man, fuck it. What am I gonna do next? I'm like, I did that shit at twenty two. What the fuck I'm gonna do at twenty five? That's how I be thinking. It's like, nigga, I already had. I been there, done. I had a hundred thousand dollar car at twenty. 21, 22, whatever the fuck old I am. I had a high rise. I was paying $3,000 plus dollars a month for every month. I did that shit. Now I'm up 30. Now I'm like, I'm 30, nigga. Look at me now. That, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm a peasant. Don't, I, 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 a lot of people going to feel the way about that, but it's mindset. It's a mindset thing. For sure. And, and I wouldn't be me if I didn't go here. You know, I always got to get my soapbox. Go there. Seven. Um, As men, and it's been a little older than you. Mm-hmm. Shit, a little bit, a lot now. How old are you, bro? You ain't telling me. I'm like 10 years older than you. I'm 31. Oh, you're 31. Okay, but yeah. The OG status. We do have to, uh, and this is what I learned. We got to we gotta celebrate our small wins. That's what I got a hard time with. As men, um, because you aren't normal. And I'm going to continue to give you your roses. Appreciate it. You ain't normal. What you're doing ain't normal, bro. Right. And knock on wood. <clears throat> I say, even if it stopped today, uh-huh. you lived a great life. We lived a great life. We did more yeah. than we was ever even Most thought about. Most people do in their whole lives. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We should celebrate that, bro. Uh-huh. Because not celebrating it is showing other people that, not even other people, fuck other people. Fuck it's them. showing God that we're unappreciative and ungrateful. Yeah. <laughs> That, now, that's true. I can see that. But I think, I just feel like, I don't know what it is. Something in me tells me, God, actually, I just know it's something in store for me that's fucking huge. It's, of course. And it's just like, this is baby steps. But that don't mean you can't appreciate the ba- I, baby steps. Right. And that's where it's like, I, no, no, no. When I first got my high rise and shit like that, I appreciate it. I was like, damn, I really did that. Now, after about a week or two, it was like, <laughs> now I don't look out the windows for real. Mm. People think... The view's crazy. I don't think nothing I of I saw it. you come to the rooftop. I'm like, you crazy, nigga. You're on the 24th, 21st floor. There's only a couple floors up. You don't no, need to be here. And that's the point. <laughs> like, nigga, I live on the 21st floor. The rooftop's right there. There's no difference. And I'm like, shit, I'm in here. Like, what's up? Like, nigga, I ain't no. That's the, I, I just don't, I just feel like that ain't shit. And I don't, I, I have, maybe that's a problem. Maybe that's my downfall. Maybe I should appreciate shit more. But I'm at the point where, like, I obtained that. I did that shit already. Now it's like, fuck it. I did that. What next? So what about Glow, if you don't mind you calling yeah, Glow? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You spend every day mm-hmm. giving, 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 mm-hmm. giving. They always say the saying, you got to check on your strong friends, right? Yeah. You are that strong friend. Mm-hmm. When the last time somebody checked on you and helped you out? And helped me out? <laughs> I don't know. And I want you Maybe and I, once, six months ago, give or take, five, four months ago, a long I, time ago. And I know we lit, but I want to take my time with this because I don't want to just blow, blow, blow past this. Don't give me the cliche. I'm lit. I'm good. I don't even care. No, no, no. I ain't about that. The last time, I don't know when the last time, whenever the last time you, it was when you thought about that, mm-hmm. how did it make you feel like, damn, like, when is somebody going to make sure I'm good? All the time. Every day. Mm. I'd be like, shit. I know for a fact a motherfucker text me after something. I, I'm, it's sent between as soon as you hit send, like I don't even respond first. Like I, somebody asks me for something, I don't even respond. I send this shit first, then respond. It's like, boom, let me send this shit immediately because I know how this shit feel. But you know what I'm saying? But vice versa, it'd be like, shit, if I need something, I know for a fact, I'm on my own. I know that. Mm. And it's just like, shit. Motherfucker tell me at the time, they just come with being an alpha, that come with being the giver, that come with it. But it'd be like, all right, I get it. That come with this shit. But it's like, you know, it, it sucks. And especially, you know what I'm saying, to have the whole world against you and shit when all you want to do is give to people. I probably, I ain't going to lie, I probably spend $1,000 a day just giving money out. Honestly, even I, off social media, in real life. Like, in real life situations. Like, shit, I got a text message from earlier. One of them, I was asked 400. I sent this one. All right, then. That's just what it is. I know that. And it'd be like, shit, if I ask a nigga 400, then like, nigga, I ain't going to respond to him. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I make sure I go so hard. I think that's why I work so hard. Because it's like, shit, I know for a fact ain't nobody got me. I don't give damn who it is. And, and a lot of people, it ain't even a fact to which I'm not mad at them for it. They just can't. They just not able to do shit that I can do. And my bills cost a lot more than what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, my situation going to cost more than a lot of my motherfucking can handle. You dig what I'm saying? So I just be at a point where it's like, man, damn. I got to make sure I go so hard that I can take care of my damn self. Because I don't got nobody. 
I got everybody, but nobody got me. Mm. And that's cool. But what I will say, now that I have started, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And all right, as of I right, understand truly, I'm, I'm gonna say this shit. I'm gonna say this shit on the podcast because I really fuck with her. As of today, I'm in a relationship with a person that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I, I said it. I said it. That's crazy. Look at them niggas. Them niggas is like, is damn. Nigga drunk? Like, no, 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 drunk? I'm, I'm dead ass serious. But like, oh, as shit. of today, I'm in a relationship with a person that's like, that motherfucker will do whatever the fuck. Like, oh, that, wow. that motherfucker got my back for a spendy fact. Like, you, if I if I told you who she was, you you know her for sure. I, say your name then. You you can't just say you're in a relationship. You gotta see. You better own it. Own it for sure. If you gonna right, give so me boom. exclusive, give me exclusive. All right, so boom. All right, are you familiar with the like um, Jessica the Prankster? She's light skinned. She she used to fuck with her mama. Her mama was white. She's a little older. She's fuck with her a lot on YouTube and shit like that. I'm not familiar, but I'll get you. Familiar. You, you gotta get familiar right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go to I'm name dropping on the thing. What is it? What is it? Let me let me type it. <laughs> Let me type it. Yes, Let me sir. type it. Fuck all that. See, when it's good, it's good. It's good. It's fucking good. I didn't realize she was that. Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah, I'm 22. Because she, she should. Yeah, when she's 19. She turns 19. Shit, in the next few hours. Oh, glow is glowing the fuck up. Yeah, and, that's pu- <laughs> and nobody know this. This is the first time I'm talking about Thank you, this. Dog. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, now I'm with somebody that's like, I know got me. I feel a lot more secure. So I'm really good. So it's like, shit, anything I call her for, I know for a friendly fact. It's like, yeah, baby. Same way with me. She call anything. It's done. It's a shit reciprocated. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But it's like prior to or before I was with her or anybody like that, it wasn't like that. It was like, shit, I already know. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do. Hold on. Fuck all that. Are you going to FaceTime me? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I just, why you doing that, right? I Look, I, I know niggas going to hate me for this. I mm-hmm. asked you a question how you measure success. Yeah, this, yeah. this is how I measure mine. I think I DM like DM them like five times. Yeah. No response. And I seen him in the building. He told me hit him, hit him, no response, or whatever. Then I seen him again. And he was like, yo, my bad. I fucked that up. I'm a I'm a look. He looked, he saw it, and he hit me, and I gave him my number, he texted me right up up. For sure. Pulled up. And that's how I measure mine. I'm like, yo, the people that I couldn't get at one point. I'm getting them. Mm-hmm. And I tell you all this, and I, I say this because this is like, I don't want to say young man, I'm not trying to son you, but this is somebody that's helped me out. I respect mm-hmm. him so much, and I always want to give him all the jewels. Taking it personal, you will never win. Facts. Because imagine if I was like, fuck that nigga. Yeah. Niggas be busy. Niggas live in their own life. You feel me? And this is for anybody that's watching that, 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 that might be reaching out to people and they can't get a response, don't take it personal. Yeah. Because you see this, the information that he's giving me now, I would have never thought of that. Mm-hmm. Not uh, no other podcast, no other platform, but he decided to give it to me because it's genuine like that. For sure. If I was closed minded and I'm like, fuck this nigga, it would have never happened. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I just I know you just FaceTime me a girl. I was just yeah. saying that because that's super important to, to to for people to know. Cause in a in a world where we're so angry, it's like fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, yeah. fuck that nah, relax. Yeah. Chill out. Just calm down. It's, just, it's going to come. People be mad if at me. It's supposed to come. Whoa. Like, I DM'd come, you. I didn't see it. I if don't it's supposed it. to come, it's going to come. And if yeah. it don't, it's okay. It's cool. I say that to say, thank you. For real. I know it might not be a, a lot to some people, but for me. Nah, man. It's your major. For real. Um, I appreciate all of that shit. 100%. The money, and hopefully she call you back. Right? Fuck her phone on D&D yeah, for yeah, I'm nah, kind of getting mad. Nah, nah. Facts. She gonna, we, we just stalling right now, but whatever. Um, outside of the money, because clearly mm-hmm. that might not be a thing. When you see niggas playing with you, oh, he a scammer. We gave yeah. him this money to give to somebody else. Yeah. On Shave Room, all this crazy shit. Yeah. I see the videos on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I see the passion and the anger because you don't want to be labeled as a scammer. But right. talk to me about that hurt, though. The shit that nobody see. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, though. It don't hurt me that much. to be Because I know me. I just mm-hmm. be like, it don't hurt because I'm like, I know what I'm here for. People going to talk. Nigga, they hated on Jesus. Right or wrong? They not. They, they tried to shit on Jesus. I know that. That's where it's like shit. And keep pushing. That's that, I be feeling like shit. That's God telling me like, nigga, I had to go through the same thing. Mm. I went through the same thing. I, I want to test you and see if you're ready for this next level. I already know this next level is going to be crazy. Mm. Whatever it is, I don't know yet. I haven't known from the jump. But I already knew, like, I've been saying this since the start of my career. August of this year is going to be my, like, time. It's going to be my prime. I knew that. 
nigga, August, August 1st, or <laughs> August 2nd, Shade Room drop. I'm like, okay. All right. Shade Room drop. All right, boom. August 5th, Jimmy Boy, one of the biggest jewelers on the fucking planet, mm. is coming to Atlanta just to do content with me. Sheesh. That's it. He's coming here. He said, I want to get money back with you. He coming on. Nigga, actually, I think Mike coming tomorrow. He's like, shit, I'm coming just for you. Nigga, I'm here from 4th, 5th to the 8th just to make content with you. That's like, okay. Hard. All right, that's cool. I got other shit lined up this month. I'm like, all right, cool. I got a bunch of shit lined up. I'm like, it's going to be my month. But it's had to start with some bullshit, though. But it's had, I feel like it's got to give me a test. Like, nigga, you ready for this? You ready for what I'm really finna give you? I got to make sure you can handle the bad before I hand you a million dollars worth of good. I got to make sure you can handle this bullshit. I got to make sure you can handle uh, six million people on Shade Room in the comments talking shit about you. I got to make sure you can handle that. I got to make sure you, you can handle me, you know what I'm saying, fucking your name up a little bit. Let me see what you do. Let me see how you move about it. You going to fold? I don't fold. I don't know if I saw Donald Trump just did a video with the Nelk Boys. I was on TikTok. I, I saw it. This just went viral. But they walked up. He said, he basically said, I want a picture. I want some of this fame. And he was like, don't fold. He said, no matter what, just don't fold. Stand whatever you say. Stand on it. It's crazy. I saw that. I've been seeing it. I, that's the first video I've seen 12 times. I've seen that video so much. I don't even watch TikTok. I don't watch Instagram. You ask anybody. I don't be watching none of that shit. He'd be like, shit, I, I, watch, I seen that. And it's like, I keep seeing it. And it's like, don't fold. All I keep hearing is don't fold. And I'd be like, nigga, that's God. Like, I just feel like, I don't know why correlating God to Trump, but that, that's just what I keep. I keep seeing that it's video a sign. on everything. It could be a sign for it's God. It's something. It's like a sign. It's like, don't fold. Mm. Nigga, stand 10 toes. Like, don't fold. Whatever you do, don't fold. I'm like, shit. I ain't folding. Glow, I appreciate you. I, I, I know I said it a couple times, but... um. I really extend my, I really want to extend my gratitude because I do appreciate everybody that sit down with me. Um, 100%. And me just looking where I'm at, like I said, I, mm-hmm. I actually, where you, how you measure your success is just, I do want to appreciate my small wins and I, and I think oh, yeah. you should do the same. I need to start doing that. It's dope, bro. More. Like it's, it's super dope and it's like, yeah. look at us. Look at us. You feel me? Yeah. When you go home tonight, I know we drunk, but drunk minds speak so with drunker. thoughts. <laughs> when you go home at night, Look in the mirror and be like, damn, look at how the fuck far I came. Yeah, 100%. From Arkansas. I ain't never did that. I, even to this from point Little now, Rock, I don't sit back bro. and look at that. Yeah, I'm the biggest nigga out of where I'm from, for sure. From Little Rock. That's crazy. Yeah. When you go home, look in the mirror, dog. Yeah. We always say, they always equate it with something negative. You got to look in the mirror at yourself. Look in the mirror. What do you see? Yeah. I mean, do that. I see a winner. I appreciate you, dog. Um. Did, did we miss anything? Shit, nah, we hit on more than anything else I ain't hit on. Mm. Means a lot. Let them people who, who don't know. Hey, anybody that does not know, uh, make sure you tap in on me. Wait, I'm a little lit. Hey, don't cut this out. I'm a little lit. I'm going to tap to an empty cup because I've drunk about 12 shots of Casamigos Reposado, which is the best drink. This is not paid promo. But anybody that does not know who I am and might not have seen the content, um, make sure you go follow me on everything at GlowJays, which is G L O. J-A-Y-S. I'm not repeating it. Just go back and play again. But um, make sure you go tap in with all my content. Um, you can comment good or bad. How you feel? Just go, you know, watch my content. Leave a comment. Send me a DM. Let me know how you feel about my content. Let me know how you feel about the situation with the homeless family. Let me know. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's it. And if they want to help, it's a way to help too. <clears throat> you got it. I got it. At I this got point, it. I got it. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> I don't even I got it. <laughs> Glow Jays, Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Yeah. It's a fucking rap. Great it's show. A rap.